Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is another video, uh, sneaker video of my Reebok. These are gonna be my favorite, one of my favorites, 90s classic. These are gonna be some of the shoes that I bought. 1993 94 Reebok bump and run with the ice on the bottom. Check them out. Boom. Check that out. Now, hold on. Just let me explain. These are not the original color, which is the black and the blue with the ice in the bottom. But uh, I found these, man. I was wanting to find this pair of shoes for such a long time. And once again, shout out to my friend, Kicks Reason, which he recommended me a site so I can look for these and buy them. I just typed them in and I found them. Thanks to him, man, I found these pair of shoes. So, so like there you, let me show you both of the shoes and also the box is still original 1993 let me show you it right here let me see that let me see that this shoe is so the shoe box is still perfectly preserved it's an original such a good find. Man, look at this. The original box with the Reebok. White, red, and blue. There you go. Let me show you that tag. Did I mention that it's not my size? <laughs> yeah, so they're not my size. I'm a ten and a half, but this is the only pair they had. Only pair I found. I don't read. Really, I don't really care. I just had to have a pair of these bump and runs in my hands, just for a collection, and I'm happy with that. They had some. They did have some ten and a half and some other sites, but they were all torn up, and I really didn't. And their the price was not. I didn't want that price for that quality. So, this. Let me show you this other pair I got. Man, look at the detail. Let me show you the, the hexalite that they put here. Like this little, just this little design right here. This little area here that they did, which is at the beginning it's also what's up buddy Shucks. what'd you do okay, mm, okay. almost done <laughs> say what's up to everybody say subscribe huh say say hi to everybody hi say subscribe subscribe hit like hit like okay thank you bye-bye okay bye-bye <laughs> yeah so Man, this hex like touch right here, it was such a nice little touch to a feature to the shoe. Uh, it wasn't like like the Shaq uh, noses, no, the Shaq shoe that he had the, all the hexalite on the, the shoe. He had hexalite here, here, and almost big old hexalite windows. I mean, it's real nice. I like that shoe, but it was over too much hexalite on it. On the shoe, this has enough hexalite, just enough, and not not over done with the hexalite. But it's so nice. You can see here back in the shoe. Let me show you the back. A nice Reebok Vector Lego, Reebok Word. Man, this this right here, the strap lets you pick up the shoe.
And this side has a nice leather and some holes for let the air breathe. Um, the tongue, another vector Lego, has a black and gray. And the Reebok lettering, the words. These uh, shoelace straps, one of a kind. It wasn't uh, just a hole. You could, it has holes, but it also has these, these like straps that you can put the shoelace on over. Another great design. Also this, just the texture and the design of the shoe, man, it's so crazy. Uh, what else can I say? Um, I guess. And I can remember the day my dad bought me these Reeboks. Man, I was like, I wanted these, actually wanted these shoes for such a long time when I was uh, in school. And I would tell my dad, can you buy these please? Can you buy them? Can you buy them? I really want these shoes that I would clean and I would help you work. Um, I'll do chores and do whatever I can to get some extra cash. And um, he actually bought them for me because I, I bugged him so much. But man, I could just remember, I could still remember that day he, I got them. I was like so, so happy. But these, I can remember taking these shoes to school. Like I would say, the reactions of everybody's faces. Because I was one of the few, very, very few who had a pair of these shoes. And they were, everybody would just be looking at my shoes, my feet. And they were just asking me, hey man, those are some nice shoes. What, what'd you get them, man? What, what is this? What's the name of the shoes? What, what's, up the, what's up with the bottom, man? Because back in the day, Reebok came up with this clear sole. And everybody, everybody else followed, like Nike. And such a nice shoe, man. Such a nice shoe. Um... I wore these to the end. I wore those to the sole right here. This part where he was like, like a tongue, man. They were talking. This part was unglued and this part was uh, torn apart. And I would walk and it would just talk. <laughs> it would be flapping. But I wore these till they just almost to the to my feet. I just love these shoes so much, man. If I would have known. 20 years later, I, they would, I would just, man. But anyways, back to the shoe. So this pair is uh, white and has a white and black. Has like a gray, also gray. Um, so original, real, real, real intact. I mean, so, prefer, so preserved, unbelievable. Man, the design. Such a crazy design, man. I mean, and I say, man, such a crazy design because not because I, I myself, but the reactions of people just that defines and the rarity. I mean, anybody can buy a pair of Jordans. I mean, I'm not dissing Jordans or nothing, but. These shoes, the rarity of these shoes. I don't know why Reebok doesn't make them, but there is such a fan base. I'm telling you, people, if Reebok releases these again, people will buy them. See, especially in these times of the pandemic, people are buying up sneakers, collecting sneakers right now. And not because I didn't get no stimulus money, but because it's just everybody's reminiscing of their good times and this will bring me back to real happy days of my childhood and I just I see it every day on, on, on YouTube people posting sneaker videos and I'm glad to say that I'm a sneakerhead and these are one of my shoes that brought me a lot of happiness. Uh.